In this video, you will learn how to transform formulas. Now this process of transforming formulas is especially useful in the science world, because in science you deal with a lot of different formulas. Now if you wanted to rearrange a formula to solve for something different, this is when this lesson will come in handy. So for example, let's say we had force equals mass times acceleration. That is Newton's second law of motion. Now instead of having this where force is by itself, where we solve for force, what we want is we want to rearrange this and solve for A, which is the acceleration. So to do this, we follow the same procedures as we would for solving an equation. So here, we want to solve for A, meaning we want to get everything away from the A. So the mass is being multiplied by A. So I need to get rid of it by doing the opposite, which is dividing. So I divide both sides by M, which is the mass. When I do that, on the right side, the mass will cancel. So the M's will cancel. I'm left with A on the right side. So I have F over M equals A. So I'm done. I've solved for A. And I can rewrite this with A on the left side if I wanted. So A equals F over M. So what this means is if I'm trying to solve for acceleration, I simply take force and divide it by the mass. Here's another formula for kinetic energy. The formula is E equals 1 half times the mass times the velocity squared. So here we need to solve for m in this case. So to solve for m, I need to get rid of this 1 half and get rid of the v squared. So let's begin with the 1 half. We have 1 half being multiplied by m. So to get rid of the multiplication, I do the opposite, which is dividing. So I divide both sides by 1 half, which is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's the same thing as multiplying by 2 over 1. So I multiply both sides by 2. When I do that, 2 times 1 half will cancel. I have mv squared on the right, and on the left I have 2 times e. So from here, we just need to get rid of the v squared. So this says m times v squared. So to get rid of the v squared, I need to do the opposite, which is divide. So I divide both sides by v squared. When I do that, the v squareds on the right will cancel. I'm left with m on the right side, and then 2e over v squared on the left side. So I've, I'm finished. I've solved for m. So I can write m on the left side if I wanted to. So m equals 2 times e over v squared. So what this means is if I wanted to solve for the mass, I take 2 times the energy divided by the velocity squared. Here is another example. This one is for displacement. So all of these have been physics formulas. Displacement, we have d equals the initial velocity times time plus 1 half times acceleration times time squared. And this V with a subscript of I, that is one thing. This means initial velocity. So we are trying to solve this formula for A, for acceleration. So when I'm solving, remember I'm doing reverse order of operations. So I begin with addition and subtraction and then work my way from there. So notice I have the VIT, the initial velocity times time, that is being added. And then here I have 1 half and then T squared all being multiplied with A. So I need to begin with the addition. So the, v, uh, the VIT, the initial velocity times time, I get rid of that first. So this is being added with 1 half AT squared. So to get rid of it, I need to subtract. So I subtract 
the initial velocity times time from both sides. When I do that on the right side, this will cancel, and I'm left with 1 half times a times t squared. On the left side, I have d, then minus the initial velocity times time. Okay, we're almost done. We now need to get rid of the 1 half and the t squared because I'm trying to solve for a. So to get rid of 1 half, uh, we have 1 half times a times t squared. To get rid of 1 half, I divide by 1 over 2 which is the same thing as multiplying by 2 over 1. So I multiply by 2 on the right side and then multiply by 2 on the left side. So on the right side, the 1 half times 2 will cancel. I'm left with a times t squared. On the left side, I have 2 times all of this in parentheses this entire left side, I can distribute. I have 2 times d minus 2 times the initial velocity times time. So 2 times vi and then t. Okay, and then to get rid of the t squared, we have a times t squared. So to get rid of it, I divide. So I divide over here by t squared. That will cancel divide over here by t squared. So on the right side I have a and then on this left side I had 2d minus 2vi and then t all that over t squared. And I'm going to put the a on the left side this time so now I have officially solved for a. I have a equals 2d minus 2 times v sub i times t, all that over t squared. So what that means is if you're trying to find the acceleration, I take 2 times the displacement minus, minus 2 times the initial velocity times time, and all of that divided by time squared. I have one more example, and this one is for temperature. So temperature, we can convert between the two different systems, Fahrenheit and Celsius. So to solve for Fahrenheit, the formula is F equals 9 fifth times the degrees in Celsius plus 32. So here we're trying to rearrange this to find a formula where we have C equaling something. So we're solving this for C instead. So what we want to do is get C by itself. And to do that, we must get rid of the 9 fifth and the 32. And to rearrange this, I need to do reverse order of operations. So I begin with the addition and subtraction. Here we see a plus 32. I can move it over away from C by subtracting 32. On the right side, the 32s will cancel. On the left side, I have f minus 32. So I have f minus 32 equals 9 fifth times c. Now to get rid of the 9 fifth, that's being multiplied by c. So to move it over, I need to divide. So I divide by 9 over 5, which is the same thing as multiplying by 5 over 9. So I multiply both sides by 5 over 9. On the right side, 9 fifth and 5 ninths will cancel. So I have C on the right side. And on the left, I have 5 ninths times parentheses F minus 32. And it's better probably to write C on the left side. So I have C equals 5 ninths times parentheses F minus 32. So what that means is if we're trying to find the degrees in Celsius, I take 5 ninths and then multiply by the degrees in Fahrenheit minus 32 degrees.